here to check in. I'm at our favorite Brooklyn bodega, Jesse's Deli, for another installment of Mom and Pop versus Rent Hiking Landlord. Now, of course, I brought you the first installment, the artisanal rent hike price sale, uh, right here in the deli where the neighborhood staple used their coveted corner here on Atlantic Avenue, the windows to advertise ridiculous products at the prices they would have to pay to keep their shop afloat. Because after 30 years of being upstanding tenants, their landlord, without warning, raised their rent 150%. With the battle raging on, they've taken to their storefront yet again. But this time, instead of artisanal roach bombs and house-cured salami tubes in the window, you'll find me and my teddy bear, Tasha. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Because let me tell you what they're doing. I'm camped out for the day and the night, you guys, in this seven by four foot space because they are putting it on, on Airbnb. That's right. For a steal of just $329 a night, you can have this space with 14 foot lofty ceilings. So a chef style kitchen with toaster and meat slicer, a microwave, and oh, don't forget the coffee machine. Sold? Me too, but not so fast. Keep dreaming, you can't actually stay here. It's the latest stunt by this deli to um, show their supporters sort of what's going on, how much they'd have to pay if they raise the rent. Look, people are coming here for their $4 sandwiches, their one dollar cups of coffee, and that's, you know, you need those sorts of businesses in the neighborhood, you know, is this tale of two cities that uh, Bill de Blasio was talking about in his election, and hopefully actually Bill de Blasio to start listening to this and taking taking action on this front. So. Oh, good luck with that. Home sweet home. What they're doing is they're asking their supporters to come on by, try out the bed, take a selfie, and post it to either Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag Airbnb Bodega. Airbnb Bodega. Get it? Okay. Is it working? Yes. About 50 people have come down so far. Is it okay with Airbnb? Well, sort of. Hi, I'm here to check in. The marketing duo of Cameron and Tommy say they're friends with a dude at the rental site, so it's all gravy. The idea of waking up in a deli where I could call from my bed for a hot bacon double egg and cheese <laughs> and coffee, that may be worth the price of it all by itself. I'm telling you right now, I can reach this far over, turn off my light and grab a bag of Tostitos at the same time. I mean, how do you That's beat really that? Fantastic. Not to mention the full mini bar, not even a mini bar, it's a full bar. All this time we've been talking to you, I haven't seen one person go into that store. <laughs> no, they're stopping right here and saying, yeah. oh, oh, great. Hi. They're looking at you yeah. lying in bed. They ought to be going in to buy something. Hi. <laughs> Uh, but no, there's actually a lot of people in here, and this is a very, very popular deli. It's oh, a Hi. Hi. Sorry, you did a great job. You're working hard. Go ahead, take a nap. We'll oh, talk really? to you soon. Sweet. I okay. don't see Tara as well. Night, Tasha. Good night, Tara. Wow, that was awesome.